Morning. It's 2 a.m. again. I genuinely can't tell if I'm lit really badly or if my eyes just aren't open yet. So you might have guessed, but I'm about to try and see how much I can crochet in 24 hours again. So you might be aware that we tried this about one year ago and I only managed to do two designs last time. So they were Chonk and Mushu, which I thought was just a little bit disappointing. This year, I'm going to see how many of the evolutions that I can make before 2am tonight. It gives me just under three hours for each of them on average. So I have decided that I'm going to try and make them in the pose from their official artwork portrait thing. And also I am aware that Evie is meant to be smaller than the rest of them as well. So this isn't just going to be design one pattern and then churn them out. So, I mean, that could be fine as well, I guess. Now, I have done a little bit of prep. You'll be able to see here that I have painted up some beautiful eyes for each of them because I'm very ambitiously have done all nine. Honestly, I'll probably be happy if I can get through the four Canto ones. Okay, so filming this intro took a, took a second, so I'm already running behind, but what I'm going to be doing is starting with Evie. Uh, I'm gonna sketch out her pieces and then we'll start stitching up. I'm just gonna roll straight into it, but I'm trying not to do too much talking right at this point in time, just because I'm very aware that everyone's still asleep. So I started with Evie, not only because she's the original, but also because I thought it would be easier to start with something so small. She had to be the smallest of them all, so I aimed for really tiny. I knew the smallest that I could comfortably do with this yarn and hook was four stitches around, but I settled for five stitches for her legs to give myself some leeway. I actually found it really hard to find a good brown for her, which is how I ended up with this softly toasted marshmallow type colour. Her official artwork does show her to be a more orange-brown, but while I was looking, I decided it was more important to find something that would complement the cream that I was using for her floofs than be a closer match to the orange. So we're 20 past four, and we've got everything except her neck fluffs done. So she's probably design-wise the least challenging of them all, but she kind of dictates the forms for the rest of them. So now I just need to work out how to do her neck fluffs. And then we can move on to the next one, I guess. <laughs> I also think it's interesting that I spent the first six hours of this challenge in total silence. I didn't really watch anything or listen to anything, just while my brain was still very slowly booting up and it could only focus on one thing at a time. I don't drink coffee, so I was definitely doing this challenge on hard mode. Still talking quietly because we are just coming up on 5 a.m. and I would go so far as to suggest that the little Evie is done. So her neck floops ended up being just a little bit small in what I've done here. I don't want to waste time on like editing it now just for the sake of adding in an extra chain or two, but uh, I know that if I mention it here, I'll remember to do it later. So I remember really clearly what happened last time where like as the day went on, I kind of like lost the ability a little bit to think clearly. So what I've decided to do is now that all of her pieces are made, I'm going to pop her to one side. I'm just going to start designing the next one, which I think is Flareon. And then once I need that little bit of a mental break and I need a little bit of a rest or recovery, I'm going to, I'll sew her together at that point. But at this stage, I am marking Evie off as done. So she took two and a half hours which means that we are right on pace at the moment to get, to get them all done. So let's see if we can keep that up. <laughs> For Flareon, I knew I had to use the same basic shapes as Evie, but all of them had to be slightly larger. In the official artwork, it shows him in this dynamic crouched position, which meant that the head was attached to the body at a different angle and additional shaping was going to be needed for each of the legs. Now, if I had a dollar for every time I've had a clock stop during a 24-hour challenge, I'd have two dollars, which isn't much, but super weird that it happened twice, right? For those who haven't seen it, the same thing happened to me last year, but this time I caught it fairly quickly. Make that three dollars. While I just crocheted pillows for Evie's floofs, I decided to go with lark head knots for Flareon, but on top of base pieces to help give them some form. experiencing this really weird phenomenon where I write down a line to, to stitch up and then I go to stitch it 
and I stitch something completely different. I'm like, oh yeah, no, that works. And then I write that down instead. <laughs> I finished off the last few pieces while the sun rose. My camera, not unlike my brain, did not seem to really know how to process being awake this early and the battery promptly went flat. Okay, so as you can see, it is just past eight o'clock. We have recharged our phone. And at this point, there we go, we have done little Evie and we've done Flareon as well, who looks a bit silly because uh, I include the fluff as part of the sewing on process. So we're not quite there yet, so. These are what our kind of diagrams look like. That's what I've been looking at the whole time, in case you were interested in that as well. Just like that's all I've got up on my screen. So at this point I'm facing the issue of do I want to do Vaporeon next or do I want to do Jolteon next? Because either is their own kind of headache. Um, just as a side note, I've only been like I've been up for what, six hours now? I am so tired already. This is so much harder than it was last year. So hopefully it like I wake up a bit more now that the sun's up. Hopefully, like, yeah, hopefully I can like get the gears moving a little bit. So yeah, we've only done two so far, um, which is an average of just over three hours each. So not the pace we need to go if we're going to get all of them done. So I guess I'm going to have to decide really quickly which one I'm going to do next and just get it going. Vaporeon has always been my favorite, so I thought I'd do her next. The body piece took a really long time because of the tail position. I accidentally ended up curving it the opposite way to the official art, but just went with it. Alright, so we are just coming up on 10 o'clock as you can see here, or maybe we're just after. Alright, so we are just after 10 o'clock as you can see, uh, and I've just finished vaporing on the body, and is it just me? Or have I made a dratini? I have to go, like, at some point I'll have to come back and use this exact body shape to turn him into a Dratini, but I'm hoping that it turns into Vaporeon once I've added some limbs and some frills and that sort of thing. So, uh, running a little bit behind, but I mean, I've already done two and a half this morning. I feel like the legs won't take me very long, so hopefully we can get this one here, all of these pieces made by 11 and move on to Jolteon. I want to sort of like pick up the pace a little bit at this point. The legs worked up really quickly. I actually really like how the body shape turned out, but it did take some work to get it there, and I was feeling positive. Until. What does the back of Vaporeon's head look like? Do you have a picture? He has a skull cap, a fin on top of his head, and then this ruffle around, but also this line of spikes, and so it's like, it looks like the ruffle, oh, there we go, this picture shows me that it cuts, see what I mean? Like he's got like ruffles and spikes and fins and all kinds of sh**. So like, I'm running out of fins again. She just has so many fins. That neck fin made her look goofy no matter what I did and it was a huge time sink to make something that would work. Before I knew it, four and a half hours had passed. Hello. It is currently a quarter to one, so we are running a little behind. I can tell you that Vaporeon is no longer my favorite evolution, and I don't really want to talk about it. But this doofy looking thing is done. I'm putting it to one side and I'm going to go have some lunch and then we will come back and we'll start working on Jolteon. So we're not even at the halfway point yet, so I'm not giving up completely, but I feel like if I can get Jolteon done by four, I feel like Umbreon and Espeon are basically the same pattern. So I feel like we can knock those out really, really quickly. So it's just a matter of like getting through that last really tricky detailed one. And then we'll have two, two really easy ones to kind of get through. But uh, you know what? It's the curse of the fish again. Okay, so it was 1.15 and we were going for a new page and a new outlook and we started to work on Jolteon. 
So for Jolteon, I started with the pieces he had in common with the others, basically the ears and his legs. It gave me a little mental break while I just stitched those pieces up. And then came time to do his head and body nugget. I had to make Jolteon's base nugget three times. I just couldn't get this pointy popper looking right, so he became the only one where I had to move the starting point to the tip of his nose instead of at the top of his head. He's also the derpiest looking one, which has kind of endeared him to me a little bit. I knew that he'd transform the most during assembly. It was just after 5.30 by the time I was done. I rolled straight into Umbreon. I knew if I didn't get the black yarn done soon, I wasn't going to be able to deal with working with it. He actually worked up super fast, borrowing elements from both Flareon and Jolteon. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm losing control of my work area a little bit. It's almost eight o'clock. I've just had a little break for dinner and to whip up all of the pieces for um, Umbreon, the black one, right? I know one of them's Umbreon and one of them's Espeon, but uh, it's whichever's the one with the yellow circles. Yeah, I had to not do that here. I had to do it under direct light because I've been awake too long and it's black yarn and everyone knows how much fun that is to work with. Should polish that one off soon and then I'm going to hopefully get the purple one again, whether or not it's Espeon or Umbreon. I'm going to get that one done as well. Got a little poll open on YouTube at the moment asking whether or not it's okay for me to just leave them pinned or if I have to sew them together for them to count. So I'm going to check back in on that in a couple of hours because like I reckon it'll take a good four or five hours to sew everything together but if I don't have to sew them then I reckon I'd be able to get either Leafeon or Glaceon done as well so like I've done four and a half so far and I actually think like that's not bad right they're definitely getting derpier but I reckon I can fix it when I sew them together so uh yeah now we're just sort of entering the like final phase with six hours to go <laughs> and it really didn't take long to give up the rest of his pieces By 8.40, I had completed five of them. I didn't want to check on the poll just yet, so I made a start on Espeon. Now, when I was talking about her earlier, I had forgotten that she is in a different pose to Umbreon, but she is also a much more delicate shape, and thus was a completely different pattern from the rest of them. Over the next 90 minutes, I worked up her head and body, her legs, and her tail. Not all of which was filmed because sitting for 24 hours on an exercise ball is the worst idea anyone has ever had, ever. Okay, so that poll's been running for a little while now and it, uh, seems like 20% of- At the time of editing, it's actually 25%, you big meanies. You aren't letting me off the hook and you say that they have to be sewn together to count, which means that, uh, Leafeon and Gla Glaceon and Sylveon can't happen now because I have to switch gears and I have well, three and a half hours to sew my little, like, Eevee menagerie together and uh, this pile of disparate bits is um Espeon. So yeah, I have three and a half hours to sew six of them together. Honestly, six out of nine is not a bad effort. 
for a single 24 hour window. Don't get me wrong, so they got steadily derpier. I think I've said that already. I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but I really did try to make them each a unique thing. These patterns need a, a lot of revision before they're ready for anyone else to come anywhere near them. I just want to be clear about that. Okay, let's sew them together. <laughs> Okay guys, my battery is running low in both a metaphorical and literal sense. In both a metaphorical and analogical sense? Anywho, it is currently 1.30ish, about 1.30, and because I need to plug my phone into charge uh, before I do the, the last half hour, because I'm not, I'm not like quitting or anything, before I do the last half hour, just thought I'd stop and give you a tour of where we ended up getting to. So, as you can see, we finished little Evie entirely. She is completely sewn together. We also sewed together the Derp Vaporeon. I'm really pleased with his body shape, but uh, his face is just not doing it for me. We've half fluffed our little Flareon, and the more I do to him, the more he looks like a bunny. We've got his little head tuft coming along nicely there and his tail is sitting over here. So we do have all of his pieces. They're just not all necessarily fluffy. So he's all there. Uh, we've got Jolteon, who is another member of our Derp family. Again, I think I'm gonna be able to fix him when I assemble though, because I think that just like pulling those eyes in a little bit is gonna do wonders for his expression. <laughs> but once more, we've got all of his pieces. I just never didn't quite get around to sewing that on. So that's on my to-do list for Technically, it's today, but tomorrow. Uh, we've got all of the pieces for Umbreon assembled. He needs some embroidery. He needs his little eyes, facial expression. He needs his little facial expression fixed as well. Um, but no, he's got all of his pieces there. We just didn't quite get around to stitching him together or putting his markings on. And then we have most of Espeon here as well. So she still needs her ears, and she's got these like funny little like double ear reindeer things as well but most of her pieces ended up being assembled so that is where we leave it i'm going to count it as six so i kept working on them all for the last half hour so here is the score sheet as the last minute ticks down in the background so of the Five and a half I did. Evie took the shortest amount of time at two hours and 40 minutes, and Vaporeon took the longest at four hours and 35 minutes. On average, the five I got fully designed took three hours and 33 minutes each to complete. So here are our finished pieces. Now, as I mentioned, I was aiming to try and match the pose of the official artwork. I will just note that any of them that don't have the correct head turn, that's actually intentional. It's way easier to design with them facing ahead, and then next time I make it, just adding a short row in the neck to turn the head. I will say that I potentially intend to revise the head shapes on a couple of them, but most of what you see will be in the final patterns, which is cool because they were bashed out in a ridiculous time frame. Also, yes, I will be releasing the patterns, but I'll let you guys have a vote on which one or two you want to see a video for, and then the rest will probably just be released as written patterns, at least initially. I don't really want to spend the next two months solid doing nothing but Eevee pattern videos, you know? And I don't think you guys want that either. Okay guys, it's 2am and I am done with today. I don't know about you. <laughs> so, once again, this was a lot of fun, but it was a lot harder this time than it was last time. That said, last time I made two patterns and this time I made six. So, there's probably a certain trade-off there. <laughs> If you haven't seen the first one I did of this, I will link it somewhere in the cards or on the screen now. So you should go and check that out because I have done this before. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you let me know by either liking the video or leaving a comment. And yeah, basically I'm going to see you next week. Okay, bye!